So what is up guys, this is Shivam from Team Zion and let's look at some NFT news. Now there have been a ton of, ton of positive incidents, positive news events over the past few days. Let's, let's look at a few and let's start with the biggest one coming out of India, which is Amitabh Bachchan, uh, one of the best actors that the industry has seen one of the oldest ones as well as well as somebody who's well respected across the world he is coming up with his own nft collection now it's going to have unique artwork it's also going to have his father's poems now if you don't know amitabh bachchan's father harivan shrai bachchan he uh, he was uh, a poet right so he he and amitabh bachchan at times also has recited his poems on on the screen so definitely definitely something that a lot of big b fans are looking forward to now this whole nft collection thing is going to be done through a collaboration with the beyond life club which is going to make it easy for people to have nft so it's kind of a no code nft platform where people are going to be able to use their credit cards and debit cards and stuff like that to pay directly for the nfts now it's going to be one of the first nft collections on on their platform through a collaboration with one other group called guardianlink.io so they are going to be launching these nfts pretty soon so and this definitely seems like amitabh Bachchan is not going to be just the only or rather the only person in the bollywood industry at least who's going to come up with his own nfts we definitely have more members here in the industry we do have heard of news where people in the bollywood have started to take their payments in crypto as well so i'm damn sure that those artists are gonna want to explore nft realm as well let's look at another uh another really really interesting news rather so there was a link to Banksy's NFT on, on sale for open, on OpenSea and it was supposed to be his first OpenSea sale and the guy who bought it for, bought it for 100 ETH which is about $300,000 at, at the time when he bought it. Now it's kind of maybe 350k roughly and this whole thing was fake. Somebody had hacked into Banksy's website and put the link there and once it was sold they removed the link and then Banksy's team came out said this is this is not true we did not have that NFT and this person was so happy my bid of 100 ETH was accepted and his name is Banksy by the way which is amazing uh, his bid bid of 100 ETH was accepted for the potential Banksy first on NFT on OpenSea the link was removed from his website so it could have been a very elaborate hoax my guess is that what it will be only time will tell so he was concerned right after he bought this as well by the way however the account has minted a second nft which makes me feel i have in fact been scammed here very elaborate takeover of the banksy.co.uk website however when banksy's team came out with this promptly the guy who had gotten this 300k for the sale of this first bank fake banksy he returned the money exactly 300k worth of ethereum back to Banksy which is strange so he says my eth from the banksy nft purchase was just returned to me ethical hacker proving a point question mark then maybe some people might have felt that it was pranksy to kind of to do marketing did this but then he clarified it it was not the guy behind all of this and it's amazing number one it it is definitely only and only possible in crypto where have you seen somebody stealing money which in essence cannot be tracked and then returning it back maybe to prove a point i don't know but this is amazing this only happens in in crypto and we also know what happened with the 600 million dollars stolen from poly network as well let's look at another amazing news which is about this 12 year old boy from england his name is benjamin he sold these pixel whales and made 290,000 pounds guys 290,000 pounds he started with a minecraft team nft collection which didn't really do that well but then he started with then he came out wrote a program that made these 3350 if i'm not wrong yeah 3350 quantity of these whales with funny hats and funny stuff on that they are wearing with pipe in the mouth and stuff like that 
and these got him about 290,000 pounds. What he wants to do is also, which is very interesting to me, which is where I think the NFT space should go, which is something that we at Zion are also exploring. What is the use case of these NFTs? He wants to work on an underwater game and use these whale NFTs inside that underwater game somehow. And people are going to be able to use that. So let's see how that turns out guys by the way and he's also working on his third collection which is going to be a superhero th themed collection to sell as nfts that's amazing that's definitely amazing now of course his father is also looking at the copyright law and getting the lawyers to audit his son's work and all of that so definitely pretty pretty amazing that to see that that people that young are getting into the space and the biggest of them all the elephant in the room which is open sea did 3 billion us dollars in the last month as opposed to 320 million dollars in july that's a 10x over a period of one month that's one month guys so and amidst all of this the market has been falling everybody has been questioning if we are in a bear cycle blah 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 all of that but we see OpenSea, we see Ethereum, we see other, other cryptocurrencies such as Solana coming out with their NFT projects as well, which kind of boosted Solana's ranking as well with the with the Ape project that they came out mid-August in, in mid-August August with. Now this 3 billion, let's look at eBay, let's look at Amazon, let's look at Etsy. Etsy did about $3.04 billion in sales. eBay did about kind of $22 billion in sales in the quarter, which is amazing, right? So... OpenSea is almost has almost taken over rather Etsy and this 3.04 billion dollars for Etsy was for the quarter of 2021 it was not for the month so OpenSea is about 3x what Etsy is right now if you look at eBay eBay in the quarter did 22.1 billion which is approximately kind of if you if, if you divide it, it's kind of five-ish billion. So OpenSea is very, very, very close to eBay right now. Like just imagine what has happened over a period of just one month with, with the prices of, of cryptos, with the prices price of Bitcoin falling down and kind of stagnating at one, one point. OpenSea has been doing three billion dollars worth of sales in one month axie infinity and crypto punks they surpassed one billion dollars worth of all-time trading value both of these which is amazing right this is damn impressive so that's what we are looking at that's what we are looking at right now imagine what the nft space is going to be in a few years now of course all of this might come to a halt for for a while because a lot of these nfts they are as as i've said again and again they are in a price discovery mode so we might see the prices crashing we might see some kind of a tulip mania kind of a moment but i'm i'm what i'm sure is what comes out of that kind of a crash is going to be much more powerful much more valuable because people are going to start to see what value or what utility each of their nfts holds going forward and of course, there is, of course, CryptoPunks and these guys, these kind of NFTs, there is some collectible value to them as well. So they, they might actually stay pretty high. Uh, let's, let's see. The cheapest CryptoPunk right now is close to about $300,000 from what I know. That's amazing, right? So that's it, guys. This is NFT News episode for the week from Team Zion, I hope you liked the episode. If you did like it, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're interested in NFT, in blockchain, in blockchain gaming speci specifically. And if you're interested in seeing a lot of cool content that we are about to shower on you for the next N number of months starting next week, guys. I'll see you guys next time.